morning, Sunday morning. Oh, all's well, I'm pleased to myself. What can you say? Oh, oh dear, dear. Get oh, layer, layer, but it is. Ah, oh. oh, never mind, sun is shining. Got a wonder later. I'm busy working on one or two other things. But I thought I'd show you a little progress with uh, this stick in particular. And uh, oh, this is a bit of uh, ivy that, because of the undulations, the wavy thing, I had part of a, a handle made up for it. And uh, it a trout. And so I, I thought, fish. Yeah, I'm quite nice actually. So and it's a bit of a. Uh, spruce root, the, the trout's actually shaped out of. I've not completely done it yet as such. Um, you're just really getting the, it's getting the handle right, getting the hand right to it. But it's coming, it's, it's, it's one of these, it's just a fancy more than anything else. It's a little bit of fun. Um, I do, I still get my fun now, oh, what can you say? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's alright. So. I thought I'd let you see it and it's, it's worked out quite nice and uh, I had a, a couple of lights before this, this trout and uh, it's been on the go for a few years, been knocking back and forward and yeah, it just didn't work on a lot of different things but on this it's worked, it was alright so I fitted the ferro on the end um, and yeah it's alright, it's a bit more sanding down, shaping off, uh, it's a light thing with it, it's, it's, it's Impressionist, it was more than that. I'm not going to go for great detail on it. Um, you can get clogged, clogged down with that, like you know. Uh, but I, I've quite enjoyed it, so I said that'll do, like you know. We'll give it, we'll give it the it, 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 it shot at that. Um, staining, well, probably do a bit of staining on it, but I'm not really sure yet. I'm never, I'm never sure I'll do, but I've got some of these wood. Wood dies, uh, so I'll have a, a bash at that sometime, like, you know. Uh, but uh, the other ones, yeah, I've been just dodging along and whatnot. But the other day there, I was in the garden centre, and what I'm going to do is I was looking, always looking at bits and bobs, but I picked up this aluminium tube and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a, a small crook out of it and use this tube for a shank. Um, I thought it would be quite nice to try uh, try it with the aluminium tube and see how it goes. And I'm just see, I'm not really sure yet, but I've got a bit of polyprop. I had shaped out ages ago, roughly, and so I think I'll uh, shape all down and uh, yeah, and fit it, fit it too. Mm. So we'll see, we'll see. We're not really sure, but we're. <laughs> I keep filling this place up, we're getting smaller and smaller. Uh, but I'm going to give up the the wreaths this year. Um, I'm not going to bother with that little funny enough when you're going to get it, not do it. No, I've done a lot, but I said, oh, I'm not going to do that. And so that's it, like, you know. And I uh, don't a chance selling one of these wreath clamps, table clamps, and whatnot in the marketplace. Uh, I don't know, it's one of these things I could have done with years ago instead of doing whatever. But no, we'll not bother. Uh, I'll let somebody else buy it and let somebody else have the hassle. You can't. The thing is, there's no real money in it. Uh, the time it takes you to gather all the stuff, put it all together, and that kind of thing. You can buy them far cheaper. You know, and, and there's not that many people making them in the market. Uh, I've noticed there, the, even with the reindeer this year, I won't make any chap on there selling them already. £10 a pop for a reindeer. Uh, it doesn't really the bother to put them. The, the antlers and that kind of thing on it. It's just a basic thing. But it, 
everybody's going passing around with try them thing and try catch something out of it like you know but I think there's that much the problem is with the marketplace there's that much stuff going on it now it's like gum tree then unless you constantly keep moving yourself back up or promote it or pay for the not with the marketplace but certainly gum tree if you pay for promotion you'll be kept at the front of things for quite a while and so therefore maybe you've got a better chance of selling things but uh, I don't really know how I'm, uh, I'm going to give up on it all anyway and not bother uh, just got around with the one or two things that take my interest and that'll be that like you know um, but uh, yeah so that's it uh, and get back maybe do a little bit of pain and that but I'm back up the hospital this week, so and uh, we're gonna get Jella mentioned, one of the, the nurses up there, like you know, and, and David, also David, who marked me down as late, no attendance this week uh, because they've got the time wrong on it. So he says, Oh, thank god, you're here. He says, When I walked in on Friday, I'm now shifted to Friday um, rather than a Thursday, and uh, when I walked in on Friday, they went, Oh, oh, oh. Oh dear, if you get a letter, <laughs> so he'd obviously ticked me. I'd been at it on the side of the thing, it must have been at a different time. Martin knew what time it was, I was due, but somehow or other got on the system different. But anyway, and as soon as you indicate you're, you're, on, you're, not, you're on a show, obviously the computer generates, sends back and generates a letter. So I'm waiting on a letter coming through the door telling me that I didn't attend on Friday. Uh, so just ignore that letter, just ignore that letter to go out. So. Uh, so they're a good, they're a good crew all together. It's, it's, it's uh, highlighting my week. It's a bit of a social, social thing. I actually end up at the very morning. It's just a reason to go go out. Uh, but uh, we'll see the consultant this week. Things are going along. Do you think they're going along all right? Well, they haven't. I mean, they're driving. The levels coming down. There's no doubt about it. Um, and. There's times that is making a difference. You definitely know what's in you. But there are other times that, oh dear, dear, what can you say? Um, so I don't, I don't think it's only that. There's other things and all, but well, but we're back. What as I say? We're in Wednesday. No blood this week. No blood to be taken off. So we've got a little break. Uh, just a, a visit with uh, the blood man, um, and we'll. I'll see what he's going to say. Um, we're hoping to get it. That uh, level is coming down. Martin says it's it's, it's 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 difficult as it gets closer to where you want to be. It's harder to get there. Um, but uh, it is working as such. So uh, you wouldn't believe that your body's capable of regenerating, regenerating, regenerating. But it, it certainly does it like in all own But uh, yeah, so I don't know really. I don't know what we'll, we'll do, but as I say with the sticks, yeah, and I'm tempted to dig out in below here because of a whole load of handles and I've still one or two sticks. Not cut many this year. I don't normally cut them a lot during the, the, the summer, but uh, I've not, I don't know how to pick out the odd one, but I've not done it this year. But this time of the year, yeah, I'll start to look around a bit and I'll pick out one or two other ones. I've got some longer ones that cut a while back, but. It's it's the uh, off-road bit that's the problem. It's <laughs> with the hip being a little bit thing we do. I've got to be careful climbing. I still managed to climb over six feet high fence and whatnot and everything like. That. But oh, you're well aware of when if something went wrong, just the the, the the mess you would be in, like you know. So, but certainly off the beaten track isn't it uh, ideal? But we'll get there. We'll do do what we need to do. You know. Um, so, as I say, it's Sunday morning and uh, I'm going to uh, set up for the side of the, the, the studio here, the, it's a big hedge, belongs to the next door neighbour, uh, big, very landy, well I think it's actually the lost in Cyprus actually, that one when it was planted there, but it belonged to David, who planted it many, many years ago and it's the usual with these Leylandy hedges, it's, it doesn't, it's lucky it's on the right, the right side of me, it doesn't take any light out of my eye, I think it gives them a lot of privacy. David died there a while back there, so the house has been sold and we've got new neighbours and so, 
I was around seeing him the other day there, Gavin, nice chap, but uh, he was a wee bit kind of taken aback with me I think because uh, one of them says it's your hedge, my hedge, I suppose your hedge is, yes. but it grows onto my, my bit, it grows over onto mine, I says, David used to get the guys in once a year to cut it, and they cut it they did, but as the hedge got higher and broader, or the, the trees got higher and broader and built themselves into a bloody big hedge, the, the, the extra stuff used to come tumbling over my side. And of course I had to read that up, David, to you know, I and mean, that was it. And every couple of years or so I would go, I'd go in and I'll nip this side back sear. I took it sear back because it's, you know, it gives me a few years. You've really got to take quite a chunk off it. Uh, but it's now needing done again. So I was round seeing Gavin just to, to uh, introduce myself and say, well, look, you know, what's your plans? But as I understand that you're just in the house and one of it, what I'm saying to you is that this I'll do, I will do this. But what I want to know from you is that if you have any plans of cutting the hedge down or cutting it down, if I take it out altogether, I says, I would like you to say to me because I won't do this work if, if this is the case. But I think it's quite keen on the privacy side of things and keeping the legs shut. Everybody likes closing herself off nowadays. So it's not like days of old when neighbours hung over. People don't really know who their neighbours are nowadays. <laughs> they can come and go in the village and at one time everybody knew everybody in the village. But uh, things change and uh, people are caught up in their own lives nowadays and uh, there's no time for meeting talking to people and uh, there's, there's less and less of it, like, you know, it's that one. Though, I must admit, most of the people that are in the village do talk. will spend a bit of time in the passing and generalisation, talk away and that kind of thing, so it's quite bit There's occasional ones who don't really want to avoid you. Well, it might just be me, might just not avoid me. You can just hope that I would like it all the time. So, we'll get set up and I'll need to set up a little bit of scaffold just around the side there and uh, but the wife and the son are concerned about me up there because I just got a new chain on the chain, the wee electric chain so I've got like, you know, uh, because um, something I'll need to nip with the chain so it's, it's heavy now. Uh, you're going to be alright up there, they said, well, yeah, I'm going to be okay, like, you know, if you're going to cut yourself, cut yourself with something sharp, right? <laughs> Cut yourself with something, Charlie. Old Gaffer used to say that. We're going to cut yourself, cut yourself with something, sharp. Right, and it's true enough, man, you get your better cut. But we're not looking to do it with this thing. It's a powerful little the tool. It's amazing what you can do with an electric chainsaw. Uh, you know, they're, they're very good. But uh, I had it out there the other day there, uh, sorting it all out and putting it in order. So, uh, my grandson, I think, was the last person to use it to. <sighs> that's not really, once, once I've done what they were doing, there was an older chain that was on it, but it must have been in about roots hedging and something or other or whatever, like, you know, so, needless to say, this, the chain wasn't worthwhile well sharpening again, so it was just thrown off and I had a new one there, so it stuck it on. But anyway, time's up, so we shall pass for thing with, but we'll keep, we'll keep a little tab on and uh, keep in touch. Uh, and we'll, we'll speak to you again, and that's it. Right, catch you later. Cheers.